there has been a lot of talk on the wrestling internet about the potential of Ronda Rousey joining WWE. And the way it's being presented, it's not so much anymore a question of if, but when and how soon. And I'll be honest, I really kind of agree with that narrative. I think it's not a matter of if, but when and how soon. Because I don't think Ronda Rousey wants any part of fighting MMA, fighting in UFC anymore. She probably looks at the WWE as an opportunity to, to still make a lot of money and you know do something different and not have to deal with that shoot fight type of environment. So I get it. I get it from her perspective. I get it from WWE's perspective. They want a female Brock Lesnar. As seriously as they're trying to package and present their women's divisions on Raw and SmackDown, they need that Lesnar type of figure. Maybe part-time, maybe more than part-time, they would hope with a Ronda Rousey. But they look at her and would say, she is going to bring you instant mainstream attention. Imagine when you issue the press release that Ronda Rousey has signed with the WWE, you're going to get a massive press conference that's going to be covered on ESPN and all throughout mainstream media. So for the WWE, it really would be a pretty big get. It would be a pretty big deal. There's no question about that. And if I was in their position, I would have to do it. I'd have to get my female Brock Lesnar. And that's exactly what she would be. If you're going to package and present your women as less about sexuality and more about serious in-ring stuff, then you might as well get yourself a real, true, legit badass, the female Brock Lesnar, Ronda Rousey, from a WWE standpoint. Uh, but for me, Ronda Rousey in WWE, I'm good. No thanks. I'll pass. And here's why. A couple of things. First off, when you look at Ronda Rousey, to me, in a lot of ways, she was a massive media slash UFC hype. It was all fine and dandy and rose petals and sunshine and puppies when the women's division in UFC was frankly kind of crap. She didn't have any real competition for the most part except maybe one or two fighters. And when she was in a position where she knew that she could clearly dominate, that's what she did and feasted on it and lived for it. And you built her up into kind of this unbelievable, unstoppable monster. And then as soon as she faced a little bit of adversity, in this case, a fighter that could actually really fight, she got her shit pushed in. Then she tucked her tail between her legs because that loss was so devastating because she didn't realize that she really wasn't that good. And there are other women that could actually fight and actually were better than her. She tucks her tail between her legs. I think she came back for one more fight and she got her shit pushed in there too. So now you're taking a woman who was, or just a fighter, period. Leave out the woman part. Just a fighter, period. Who I think has some unresolved issues upstairs. Not from a she's a psycho or crazy standpoint, but in terms of a lack of confidence, a lack of belief in self, a lack of self-assuredness, because she was devastated by that loss, particularly to Holly Holm, and I really don't think she ever recovered. And the simple truth of the matter is, is that she was a massive star for the UFC, yes, but that was in part because there really weren't any massive male stars for a variety of reasons. Uh, retirements, Brock going to WWE, uh, John Bones Jones being suspended, so it was kind of one of these things where you have Conor McGregor coming up, sure, but Rousey's still the bedrock because the UFC made her the bedrock. They made her a prop, kind of a Cena-ish type of prop for the company. And the media, of course, latched on to her and gravitated her and pounded her everywhere. So I wonder if she gets into the WWE and things don't go exactly the way she feels like they should, is she going to be willing to do business? Is she going to be willing to do the right thing when it's called for at times? Is she going to be willing to not make herself look as good as she might want to? Is she going to sit there at the first sign of frustration or the first sign of um, obstacle 
or resistance? Is she going to cut tail and run? Is she not going to cooperate? Is she not going to perform? And who's to say that what she does in the MMA world in any way, shape, or form automatically translates to the professional wrestling world? Brock Lesnar doing Brock Lesnar in WWE works because Brock Lesnar has been a multiple-time world champion going back to the days of WWE. Then he went to UFC. Now he's come back to WWE. So he'd already been there, done that. So you knew what to do with him. He knew what he was doing. You're bringing Ronda Rousey into an entirely different form of entertainment. There is no guarantee that that is going to carry over at all. That any success that she's had in MMA is ultimately going to make her a good professional wrestler. That transition from shoot fight to work fight can be a tremendous challenge. And then on top of that, is Ronda Rousey really have the type of charisma that's going to captivate people in terms of a professional wrestling sense? Is she going to have the type of mic skills that can talk people into the building? I don't think so. And ultimately, I look at her run in UFC and see, you know, when it was easy for her, things were great. And when they weren't, they were terrible. And she's never recovered and she's never going to recover. And I don't think ever wants anything more to do with UFC, at least for the time being. So they didn't go as well as everybody wanted you to believe because as soon as she faced a real challenge, she was done. So then you thought maybe she was going to try and transition to Hollywood and become a movie star. And then, of course, that kind of fell by the wayside, too. So why wouldn't the WWE eventually fall by the wayside for her? I still would be concerned about she would get there, realize that she misses shoot fighting, misses MMA, misses the UFC, doesn't like the WWE and what it's all about, and six months a year in, after the company's invested a lot in her to try and get her ready for prime time, she wants to cut tail and run and go back to fighting in UFC. I mean, these are all things that I think about. You know, Ronda Rousey's never been a major box office attraction for me. Maybe she has been for others. But again, I'm only speaking for myself. I'm not saying that Ronda Rousey going to the WWE is a bad idea. I think it is a good idea for the WWE to try it. Let me emphasize again. If I was personally in Vince McMahon, Hunter's, Stephanie's, Shane's shoes, I'm going to get Ronda Rousey. And I'm going to try and make her my female Brock Lesnar. Period. Because this is one of the few people that you can bring in alongside maybe like a Rob Gronkowski that could instantly get you massive mainstream attention from day number one. They're already a star coming in. So you don't have to worry about making him a star. You just have to worry about making her good as a professional wrestler, a sports entertainer. So it's a good place to be. It would be a similar thing with Gronkowski. He already comes in. He's a star. People know him. He's a household name across the country, especially in football households. And plenty of people that watch football used to watch professional wrestling, and plenty still do. So it makes sense to bring in people like that. I just don't see where Ronda Rousey translates very well long-term WWE, the way I see it right now. And that could change. But right now, I just don't see where she translates very well. I don't know how much of a desire she would really have to really sink her teeth into it And really, really be good at this. I almost wonder if she would just kind of feel like it would be given to her, that it would be handed to her. She would do just enough to get by, but she's not going to really try to become a professional wrestler. She's just going to try and be an MMA shoot fighter doing professional wrestling, and there is a big difference. And then even long term, the danger to me with bringing in a Ronda Rousey is who could you have beat her? To me, there's literally nobody on that women's roster that would be in the sniffing range of beating Ronda Rousey. So now you potentially create a problem over time to where you devalue the rest of your women's roster because nobody can beat Ronda Rousey. And ultimately, you end up devaluing Ronda Rousey because there's no real threat and nobody can beat her. Like Part of the reason I thought Brock Lesnar was kind of scuffling along was the fact that we got to a period of time where nobody could beat him. You made him into too much of an unstoppable monster, and even now you still have the issue of a limited number of viable, credible opponents for him. It really affects his drawing power, and he becomes the wrong type of draw, or no draw really at all. And I wonder if long-term that's what would happen with Ronda Rousey. 
you know, so it would get a lot of mainstream attention and maybe people think that'll be good, but I don't know if it necessarily would be good. It would be like saying all the other people here that we have don't fucking matter, even though fr quite honestly, frankly, they really don't. But I think it's a foregone conclusion. I think it's going to happen unless there is some 11th hour development and a change of plans or a change of heart by Rhonda. I think she's with the company and I think she's there at WrestleMania or the night after WrestleMania. They've been hot on her for a few years now. They've been wanting her to do this for years. They didn't have her and The Rock do something at WrestleMania 31 with Hunter and Stephanie for the fuck all of it. Because they thought they were going to get a match out of her and Stephanie at 32. That's what they thought. It didn't happen. Now, a couple of years later, we're trying to circle the wagons. That's what I'm afraid of, too. Are you going to potentially put a lot of your eggs into the Ronda Rousey basket just to have her eventually cut tail and run and not want to do it? I don't know. But we'll see. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be convinced that it's a great thing. Oh, my God, this is the beginning of the four horsewomen. We're going to have four horsewomen versus four horsewomen, and they're going to main event a big four pay-per-view. <laughs> Whatever. I hope it works out for WWE because it's going to cost them a lot of money to bring her in. It'd be good if that investment didn't fail. But for me personally, I don't see the appeal. I'll pass. I, I'm no interest in Ronda Rousey coming to WWE at all. 